after the last video I made on the Surface Laptop Studio, a lot of you have been asking me to do one on the Surface Pro 8. I was actually a lot more impressed by this device than the Laptop Studio and hopefully this video can show you why. If you're coming from a Surface Pro 7, then the Pro 8 is a massive upgrade. Both are well-built machines, but the Pro 8 just feels a lot more premium and nicer to hold. The bezels are way slimmer, the corners are more rounded, but the trade-off here is that the Pro 8 is a bit heavier in hand. The design has more in common with the Pro X than the Pro 7. In fact, it's nearly identical to the Pro X, except for an extra layer of thickness to accommodate the fans. The downside is that the Pro 7 type covers aren't compatible with the Pro 8. A lot of you have been asking me if there's a notable difference between the keyboards, but to be honest, they feel pretty much the same. The typing experience feels identical, and both keyboards have the same amount of flex. The only difference here is a slightly larger trackpad and a new folding mechanism to hide the new Surface Pen. Speaking of the Surface Pen, a lot of you have been wondering if Microsoft has fixed the pen jitter issues and if the drawing experience is good. I did some line tests and found that the pen was fluid, accurate, and comfortable to hold. And if you're wondering, the same is true for the Surface Laptop Studio. The display is one of my favorite things about the Surface Pro 8. In my experience, both touch and scrolling felt very smooth. This is thanks to the 120Hz display that you can actually limit to 60Hz in the settings. Behind the display is an extremely well-built kickstand that has a lot of resistance and folds nearly flat on a table. Some people have been wondering what it's like to use a Pro 8 on your lap, and the answer is that it depends on how you sit. If your legs are stretched out, then the experience is fine, but if you sit cross-legged or with your knees up, then the kickstand has too little surface area and will fall through your lap. As someone who's never owned a Surface Pro before, this is the first one that I'm seriously considering buying. Microsoft managed to squeeze in a fully-fledged Intel laptop into the form factor of a slightly thicker iPad Pro. I can't think of a more versatile laptop for students or professionals, as long as their workload doesn't require a powerful GPU. But this has been it for me, thanks so much for tuning in, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Peace!